Hello, my name is Joshua. I'm with telescopes.com, part of Hay Needle. Today I'm going to show you how to put together the Jumel Eclipse 114 reflector telescope. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each individual part and explain what they all are. This is the tripod for your telescope. This will be the OTA, optical tube assembly. This little piece right here is the extender for your tube. This unit right here will be your counterweight. This tray is for your tripod, which will you'll put your house your eyepieces when you're not using them. These are your adjusting cables for when you're tracking your celestial object. This little unit right here is called a motor drive. What it will do is it will actually, once you find the object you're looking for, you turn it on, just tune it, and it will move through and track for you. This is actually the mount unit, which where will house your OTA and connect to your tripod. This unit and this unit right here are your finder scope for aligning your celestial object you'll be looking through before looking through your telescope itself. These two units right here is your eyepieces. You have a 20 millimeter and a nine millimeter. And lastly, these two rings are your OTA housing rings that will connect to your mount so that way everything is all connected in one unit piece. First step will be taking your tripod and setting it up. What you'll want to do is spread out the legs just a little bit so that way they kind of balance on their own. So now what we'll do is connect the tray to the tripod. And now I'm just tightening up the last of these butterfly nuts to make them all nice and firm. There we go. And now your tripod is sturdy. Now that we have the tripod bracket in place to first, for it locked in, what we're going to do is release the tr legs themselves. There's threads right here. And tighten it to lock it. Now that we have our tripod standing up, we are going to connect the equatorial mount to the tripod. First thing I'm going to do is remove this bolt in the bottom. It has a washer on it. And you'll slide it right in here. And connect the bolt to the undercarriage of the tripod. Now what we're going to do is connect the motor drive to the equatorial mount right here. There's a bolt that actually removes with the washer. You'll take both of those off. And then this will slide right in. There we go. Now what we're going to do is connect the, the cables to the equatorial mount. The long one will actually connect up on the top. Set that there. That's in. The shorter one will actually connect on the other side of where the motor mount was at. And there's little niches in here where the thread will go in so that way you know it's locked in place. There we go. Next unit we'll be connecting will be the counterweight and the bar. What you'll want to do is you'll want to slide the bar through the counterweight. Don't forget to tighten it so that way it doesn't slide out. And then now you'll just screw it in the tripod mount and then adjust it if you like. There we go. Now we're going to connect the OTA rings to the plate. 
We just got to remove these butterfly screws. And then we'll connect them right inside here. And there's, you just thread them through the other side. Now that we have the rings connected on, we're going to remove the screws on here. And now allow us to open up the rings to place the OTA inside them. And now we just connect the OTA right inside. It doesn't have to be perfect, just close it in and you can maneuver it to where you'd like. Once you have it in, just tighten in the screws now. Now that we have our OTA nice and firm on our rings, what we'll do now is remove the screws for the mount bracket for the finder scope. And we'll slide it right on. and connect the threads back in. And then after that, we have the finder scope, and that just slides right in too. And you can adjust this later. Right now we're just putting it in just to hold it in place. Finally, what we're going to do is last piece will be your extender connector for your eyepieces. There's threadings right here. Usually what I'll do is I'll bring this out a little bit and then we'll connect it right on. There we go. It's nice and firm in place now. And now we have our eyepieces, which will just slide right in. You have your 20 and your 9. Pretty simple. They just slide right in. Twist the screw. Locks right in. Your 9. Slide right in too. Piece of cake. Now that I have all the pieces connected up, this is your finished project. The Jumel Eclipse 114 EQ Reflector Telescope. Basically everything is all set up, ready to go. You can take it outside, fairly lightweight, get ready to go out there, family, friends, stargazing galore.